All right, welcome back. It's time for another video on Easy Drummer. This video is actually the live rehearsal of us using Easy Drummer for the very first time and uh, doing it with our live band, which is really amazing. And it really worked out awesome. And you're going to get to hear it. Uh, you're going to hear samples from records played through Easy Drummer through the plugin. And you're going to hear Easy Drummer sounds actually being used as well. But what I did is make custom kits out of the sounds they had. So when you see uh, stock sounds, that means I'm using the custom kits that I made personally from their stock sounds. Okay. So when you see Def Leppard, however, you're going to hear the actual sounds from the record uh, imported. And if you go back in my videos, you can see how I did that as well in the previous videos on Easy Drummer Live. Now, if you've ever done this before or you're doing this currently, please comment below and let us know how it's going. Because this is the first time we've ever done anything like this. We have been using electronic kit for a number of years, and that's been going really well. So let me kind of explain the whole reason why we got into the electronic kit in the first place, because obviously drummers hate electronic kits for the most part. Uh, because volume concerns have been such a big thing over the last seven, eight years, uh, they're putting up DB, dB meters around and they're asking for 90 dB. And if you know that uh, a real kit will never, ever be 90 dB, you have to do something else in order to keep, you know, jobs coming. So we're full time. And if you're full time, you've got to figure out a way. So we've been using a nitro releases kit for the last six or seven years on and off. We do use real kit here and there for certain venues that allow that still. And, uh, but for the ones that have trouble with volume, we have switched to the nitro kit. And what we did is use two drum modules, two elect uh, Lisa's drum modules. And we have, that way we have four outs instead of just two. So we have kicks, snare, toms, and cymbals. But we thought, wow, well, you know, if we could use something like Easy Drummer, we could, we could get rid of the two modules, right? And we could make a more robust connection via a, external interface so I, uh, you know like a focus right interface and we get multiple outs which is a big deal so what we can do is we can rack mount that interface into the rack run just a usb cable straight from the elisa's module to trigger it right so there's one cable instead of four audio cables you hit that interface and that interface then has shorter cables going out to your mixer or whatever you want to do with that or maybe a little snake you could do, you know, that way. And uh, depending on what you need, four or six channels or whatever. So it makes it much, much more robust and less likely to be broke. And then um, we thought, well, we can use all these samples and we can get sounds that are as good or better than the rolling kits that are out there. And we can do it for maybe 1500 bucks. So that's kind of what we've done. We added a new kick drum last week. This our $600 pearl kick drum for the trigger. And then we have Alesis. Uh, nitro toms that are all black this kick drum's black and then we're using some symbols that i made into triggers uh they're the low volume symbols and you can put like rubber around the edges and then put a trigger on it and then it can actually trigger symbols it's not dual zone or any of that fancy stuff so if you're really into that you know maybe you do want to pay for the rolling kit but we didn't need it so anyway we're into this for like 1500 bucks and you're about to watch a video of it and hear it and uh, i think it turned out amazing and um, I think it's going to be an incredible asset to our live show as we go forward. And it's going to keep us out of trouble with the volume police. And uh, in fact, you know, when we switched over to the electronic kit, we um, found that a lot of customers would come up and say, you know, you guys sound incredible. The volume is kind of low, but it sounds huge. And I like to liken it to... When you see a big arena show these days, they don't have the volume super loud and you can kind of talk over it. And, but it sounds huge still. But what we have is a nice PA, an older PA actually, uh, with two 18s on each side and a 12 on the top. So we have way more PA than we need, but it's given us that low end weight and the clarity on the tops that uh, makes it feel like you're listening to an arena PA in a club. And that has always been my goal to make it sound like that. And Easy Drummer is just another step in that to improve the drum sounds to the point where you can't tell that it's not even a real kit, yet it sounds like the studio, sounds like incredible um, 
fidelity. So anyway, that's kind of where we are with it. And uh, if you use this, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you don't use it and have questions, leave me a comment. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, the next video you'll probably see is us actually using it in a live setting. So rock on.
Here we stay 